What's up, guys? This is Skills G, baby, and welcome back to another episode of Skills Builds. How's everybody doing today? Hope you all are doing wonderful. Thank you very much for coming out once again to watch me. Why me? Poor little old me with just pants. I have no shirt. I have only pants. Actually, I do have a shirt on. I have no armor shirt. Uh, yes. Anyway. Anyway, last time I'm here at the enchantment table. We were. I was just doing some repairing. I wasn't doing enchanting. I was doing repairing. My shovel was getting killed. Uh, I just repaired my diamond axe and my boots and my helmet because they were getting kind of close. Uh, mobs are super loud. Hi. Let's do like that, I guess. Um. Wait, is it just me? Okay, I don't know. I, I had to mess with my. So yeah, we got this. It's working good. Still, I still like it. Still enjoy it. Um. So last time you guys know we were having some lag issues. Um, let's see if we can see it. Uh, it's not bad right now, actually. Oh, yeah, you can see how they some of them start slowly falling like that. Yeah, so we're having some lag issues. Okay, um, and someone said that it could be that the spiders are getting stuck in the 2x2 two two hole and keeping the mobs from falling down. And now we're going about this. Now, it doesn't, I don't know, it's hard to tell. There's definitely a lot of mobs falling, um, but I'm going to do this all on camera so we can see that I, because uh, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into spectator mode and see what we can see up there, um, just to just to find out not to, hi, all the spiders, just go die. There we go. Um, so we're going to see this, so someone, uh, it was Dub, Y2K, that's all I know, um, he was saying that they're possibly getting stuck up there, causing all the mobs to pile up and causing the lag. So we're about to check it out. If you didn't know, this is how you do it. This is how you get into creative mode in a single, in a, uh, LAN, or in a LAN, in a single player world, that's how you get to creative mode. So you open the LAN, and you turn cheats on. On, right, yes. So you start world, then you go to slash game mode one, no, three is spectator mode. So we're going to quickly just go up here and see what we can see. See if they are getting stuck. All right, they're getting stuck a little bit. Oh, it's not a two by two. I thought I had a two by two hole. It's a three by two. Yeah, all right. But it looks like all the mobs are really going through. I mean, when I'm in spectator mode, all the mobs are kind of disappearing. But it looks like they're all getting go pretty good. And except for all the spiders are crazy. All right, so let's get back. A mode zero. All right, we're back to normal mode. Back to normal. So it didn't look like that was it. Um, but while I was up there, I was thinking about it. What if it was my hopper hopper clock? So my mob farm, if you guys haven't seen, is based on water. It pushes the mobs off the cliff and pushes them down there. Um, so it goes runs on a clock. Uh, that kind of pushes them off. So I was wondering. I don't know if. What is this for? Oh, look at this! I didn't know they had a little area up here. Huh. Interesting. Um. So I didn't know if maybe that was causing it. But the funny thing is, I've had this going on for a while, and I've never had that problem. I don't remember. Is it this one? As you can see, yeah, this is all the redstone clock is working. Here it is, actually. So I like to pop a. Alright, so we wait a second, right? So wait till it clicks again. Lock it. Is that how we do it? This still runs, though. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, yeah, because this... Wait, why is it not running, you know? Oh, because the piston stays on. Yeah, but see, now it's all, all the water is stopped there and no mobs can spawn. So this is a good way to turn it off. I wish I had a button wait, like to push down there, but to be honest, I don't know if I want to, I'd rather come up here and turn it off, because I don't know what I, if I want a huge, uh, huge ladder of torches going all the way up there. <laughs> um, we look kind of weird. So we're gonna turn it off and see if we get any more block lag while we're here doing stuff. Um, bed, sleep time. Sleeping time. I shall sleep. Oh, jeez. Um, and as you can tell over here, it looks a little more open. Looks a little more open. We, uh, I finally... Oh, I was like, wait, did I not shoot back at it? Um, we finally, uh... 
tore down our farm here we had. Completely gone. I'm going to get rid of uh, this, because that's bothering me. So yeah, it's completely gone. I got everything gone. I was super happy about that, because it's kind of an eyesore, really. Um, Put it all down there. Show. Very good. I'm happy it's gone. We'll build something in its place later on. Um, I'm do I think I'm doing a lot of ums today. I don't know why. I'm trying to think of what we can do. Uh, but, uh, well, uh, throw that one off the edge. <laughs> Hello? Slime Farm has been working good. Slime Farm has been working great. Um, so today, I think that's going to be it for here, for now. Um, I've got my enchantment system going. I'm really happy I got my slime farm going. But I want to head back and maybe do a little building today. I've been kind of missing my other village. Oh, I came into this nether one time and I was like, why am I lagging so bad? And I realized I was on 26 chunks. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Don't do that. It was, I don't know why. Sometimes it'll, uh, I'll ramp it up to 26 chunks just to see, hey, I want to look a little farther. Um, I just want to look a little farther to see what's out there. And then I rotate it back down to 12 chunks or whatever. And when I load back in the world again, it goes back to 26 chunks without me knowing. I'm like, okay, why, why is it doing this? I don't know. Oh, we're back. It's been a while, world. Or village. How are you? Doing good? How are you, chicken farm? Are you still chickening? Yeah, you're doing good. Oh, hi, hi, yes. Sorry, I didn't didn't mean to uh, interrupt. Go about your business. I didn't want to buy any chickens yet. I love this house, guys. I really do. It's one of my favorite houses I've ever built. It just looks really good with the trees around it and stuff. Hi, what are you doing on the roof? <laughs> okay, so, let's get on. It feels like I'm just rambling today. I'm kind of having fun doing this. Um, so, I have done a little tiny bit of work since last episode. Well, since last time I've been here, really. And that is the work up on this a place up here. Now, I don't know if... I can't remember if I told you that there was a tree there or if I built that off camera. I can't remember. But I finally built a tree there, and I did that because that part of the building was really bad looking. Like, it just looked so empty, and I added, had to add something there. So I put a tree there, one of our custom trees, um, like those over there. And, as you can tell, I put a little door on it. Now, the door is not... You know what? It almost needs, like, to add a little bit of something. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go check. Um, but I put a door on it because that's... I think that's just really what it needed. Even though it's not even used, it's just there for the looks. And, I mean, it's not even, like, inside. It's just... <laughs> I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Uh, but I had to put it there because it just looked empty without it. It just looked empty. And, oh, I can't put anything there either because there's the village operating system below it. Here, let's go up here. Oh, this is how we got up last time. Uh, I also kind of made this come out a little bit, the ground. Oh, boy. It's not even done that yet. So if I do that, will that look any better? You know what? Stone almost looks would look better. Actually, no, it wouldn't. And no, that's not gonna look good. What about something like that? A little bit higher up, maybe. That's a little better. I like that. Oh, but yeah, look at the door. Oops. <laughs> I mean, really, it's not even doing anything. It just looks there. But from a distance, it actually looks a lot better just having that there. And I'm gonna change this grass out, actually. Just to make sure that the grass will grow. Yeah, it'll grow. It'll grow. My ear itches so bad. Sorry about that. And here's the tree that I made. Looks okay. Looks okay. I'm not sure how you know great it looks, but it, it worked. It does the job. See, even over here, it's kind of a little bit odd. We might have to add another tree over here, but that'd be okay. That'd be okay. Let's actually check while we're here. See how we're hi. Hello. All right. He's not letting us in. He's guarding the door. Guarding the door. All right, I've rambled on for way too long. We need to we need to do something today. I'm trying to figure out what we should do. What should I build? What should I do? Um, tell you what, I will be right back. 
with what we're going to build in a second, because i got to think about what we should try to do today. All right, see you in just a second. All right, guys, so I got an idea of what I want to do. Okay, okay, so first of all, I want to say I get a lot of inspiration from watching B double O. And a lot of people you probably know who B double O if you if you don't, check him out on YouTube. He's a big Minecraft player and he does a lot of building. He does a lot of building and it and it's not his Oh, oh what you doing over there? It's not his uh buildings in general that well actually it is I lied it is his building in general that give me ideas. Uh but like also his his um ways he says stuff about things that gives me ideas. Um, he was like, he always says that in your village, you know, you get, it should have some kind of resource, some kind of main thing it produces that gives to other villagers. It gives, it gives a, the village gives a sense of like, um, how do I explain this? It gives the village a sense of like, they're there for a reason, you know? And I was thinking, this, the reason that this village is here, and where it's located and everything, their main product, their main, like, trade, trade value thing, should be, like, logs. Some major log distribution all over. Um, because we built this whole thing. This whole was forest here. It actually kind of looked like this a while ago. And so I was like, why not, why not make some wood? Wood, sometimes, sometimes, villages on lakes. I'm just kind of making stuff up. <laughs> they they always they, they need wood, right? They don't get a lot of wood. They have a lot of water. Nasty salt water. But anyway, well, I said it's lakes, though. Whatever. Anyways, my point is, the main the main resource of this village is going to be wood. And so, I'm thinking over here. So over here is our little tree farm. It's small. It's small. And I was hoping to have a a road, possibly go from this part of the road all the way over here get out of my way tree you're in my way and connect back up over here at some uh, over here and but well I might still do that we'll see uh, but I'm thinking about having a crane that maybe set up like right here a crane operated by one of the, this guy possibly that will take logs that are cut down from the tree farm here take them, grab them, and put them over here onto a cart, some kind of, like, horse wagon thing, and then they'll ride off and go and trade with the other people to get more uh, resources here. So I think that's what we're going to build today. A lot of it's probably going to be off camera. I did a lot of talking, um, so I want to make sure we get some building done. Uh, so I'm going to cut off all these trees, and I think we're going to just, like, put it right here. It might be kind of like, um, gears. It might look like gears kind of controlling it. And this guy might be, might, might just be the conductor of it. Uh, but that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, what was I, I was gonna say something else, wasn't I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also thinking, we're getting close to episode 50. Dude. Shabby, if you're watching, Shabby was a friend that, uh, played a lot of video games with me, if you don't know. He said, dude, I don't think you'll ever get to 50 episodes. Man, we are so close to 50 episodes. We're going to get there. He said, yeah, 50 episodes in one thing. So 50 will be for you, Shab. Uh, but I'm also thinking, you know what we need to do? We need to go fight the Ender Dragon at episode 50. Um, so I'm gonna, we got 40, what is this, 48? Is this episode 48? This may be 40, yeah, I think this is 48. And then... I think next episode we'll spend time trying to find the end and getting prepared for it and whatnot. And then episode 50, we're going to fight him. Dude, I'm so excited. I'm going to die so bad. Um, But yeah, we're going to put this right here. So let me get some work. I'll give you a little progress update when we get something done. And uh, I'll be back with you in just a couple minutes. Well, for you in a second. Minute for me. 20 minutes for me. <laughs> All right, guys. So I got a little bit of work done. You can see it right now. Yeah, I'll just go to see it anyway. <laughs> I got a little bit of work done. I think it's coming along pretty good. I'm debating on what... Okay, so first of all, here is the gears. All right. So these are the two gears attached by this wood log. I think they look pretty good. I'm thinking about changing them to metal gears, possibly. Uh, By metal, I mean changing these out. 
Mm, I don't, I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, I have this metal gear below because it's, it looks really dark down there. Uh, but oh, oh, that's why. Huh. Well, either way, I'm thinking about changing them out. I'm not 100 sure. I think there might be more metal. We'll try to change that out, or I will change it out off camera. Um, to see what it looks like. But uh, you come back here. We're gonna have to make a little way to get back here a little easier. Actually, you know what? First thing I'm gonna do is take these out. There we go. And back here is the little conductor area. Um, so it's pretty simple. It just has a little door to get into the cockpit, I guess. And it has a little, like, you could flip this up to see where you're going or put it down if you're really doing something hasty and you got to shield yourself. And this little button. What the? Well, okay then. Not that it has to do anything. So anyways, this is where you're supposed to steer it and whatnot. Uh, I really like this. I really... Oh, man. I love having the uh, trapdoors stay floating and stuff. It really gives you a lot of ideas. Oh. 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 I have an idea, too. Um, Not an idea. I've seen this before. Oh, we're going to do it right now. Um, Let's see. Where would it be a good place for this? Okay. Any more trapdoors? How many do I have? And another one. All right. And while we're at it, get a chest. All right. So this, if you guys haven't known, this is one of the coolest ways to make a little uh, a barrel, I guess. Where should I put a barrel at? Um, Maybe. Let's see. You know what? I bet you. Actually, we got a chest already in there. Let's use this chest to make a little barrel, right? Since they float now. Hello. Hi. Not do that. Boom. Boom. Stop it. Now, that's already, already always been there, I think. Actually, has that been possible? I don't know. And voila. And you don't actually need this back there. You can put a block back there and take it off. But then you can actually literally go up to it, open the barrel, put stuff in it, and close the barrel. Obviously, it's kind of like a chest, so you can just kind of like this. I've never seen that before, but doesn't that look cool? I probably might even take off that top one. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. I like it. I like it. I'm going to keep the top one on. I might even flip it up so it looks like it's open. Yeah, I don't know why I got so excited about that. Um, but anyway, what I want to do now is I want to make the... Oh, whoa, whoa. I made a little too many of those. I want to try to make the crane part with you guys. And I think I have an idea of how to do it. Alright, so we're going to attach the crane part. Let's see. Let's use this block. How's that going to work? Boom. Let's get a little more into it. Hiya! Look at that jump. That was a jump. And then we're going to use, I think we're going to use these spruce fences for the middle here. Can I do that? Will that work? No, that didn't work. That didn't work again. There we go. Something like so. Will this look good? All right, we're gonna take a ah. We're gonna take a look at it here in a second. It's got. This is gonna be like the main one. Hi. Look at that. That's inside me. I have, a, I have a pole inside me right now. Um, okay, let's take a look and see what that kind of looks like right now. Not too bad, actually. Um, a lot of wood, though. Like, normal wood. Okay. Alright. Yeah, let me... Okay, so that's kind of how it's going to come up. It's going to come up and then have a little crane down. So, give me a second. I'm going to try to mess with the colors a little bit. Uh, maybe make this stone, maybe make this darker, or something like that, to make it look a little less oaky. Uh, and then we'll, I'll work on this just a minute, and we'll see what we got. Alright, guys, look what we got here. I think it's, well, I mean, not done done, but it's pretty good. I think, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm not 100% sold on um, the colors yet, like, not, like the type of wood or whatever. I really want to use wood. I tried stone. It looked a little heavy 
you know, for the wood to support. So I kind of left it as is. Changed this to spruce wood. But I think it looks pretty good. Like I said, like a lot of wood, like I said. Uh, but it kind of comes up like an uh, arc in a way. And it has the hanging down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the, like, grapples for it. Let's see. Really quick. How are we going to make grapples? So pop one there. If we pop one out here like this, right? And go the opposite way. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. Like so. And if we put it up top there. Would that be a good light grapple? Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. The problem is I did it the wrong way. <laughs> I need it to go the other way. Because, here we go. So I have a cooler, I have a, I had a cool idea of coming up with this. So I need to, let's do this real quick. So it's going to grapple. I don't know if, oops, oh, whoops again. I don't know if normally they have like a certain way they grapple. Anyway, it's going to be that way. So we're going to have a little bit of like logs laying here. So then it could pick it up. And it looked like it could actually pick up the logs. And then, talk about this pathway. We're probably going to take this out. Like that. And have the path go right here. Underneath it. So it's going to be a little scary. It's going to have a warning sign saying, Beware of flying logs or something like that. <laughs> Uh, actually, you know what we could do? I wonder how this would look. Is that going to look good at all? Does that look like it's grappling it? Not at all. It looks like it's floating there. Hmm. Alright, let's take this out. How could we do this? Oops, that just kind of looks like it's connected to it. <laughs> or we could do... Uh, oh, oh, our trapdoor idea might do something here. Alright, let's get some more trapdoors. How would this look? Does that look anything like it's holding on to it? Kinda, actually. That looks kinda cool. If I wish I could put like a half slab here instead of hi. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no no no. No no no. Dude, did that guy just spawn right there? Did I just see this guy spawn there? All right, we need to we need to sleep like now. Um, this guy right here, that villi that white coat villager, who he's got something for me. I can feel it. Ah. If he doesn't die in the night. Which he very well could. Alright, wake up. So, uh, yeah, he just, he was a little baby little last time I looked. Oh yeah, is there a guy still up there? Oh no, he's there. Uh, there was a guy standing up there before. Hey, librarian, where art thou? Man, we have a lot of babies in here right now. Dude, where did that guy go? Oh, there he is. Um, so he got us infinity. Ah! We got an infinity, but it requires quite a bit of emeralds. 19. I was, I don't know if I have that many. 19 in a book. Let's see. No, that's the wrong one. 38. We got enough. Oh, dude, we should get this book. Um, do I have any leather or anything? I have meat. Leather, leather, and paper. I mean, I guess I got enough out here. I could just probably make it right off the bat. Uh, but if we need to, we need to get this infinity book because I have a very good assumption that that guy's probably gonna die. It's enough. I don't have enough room for it. Let's get rid of that. Hello. Yeah, there's a lot of babies around here. All right, so come on. Let's see, paper, book, and we need, what did it say, 19 emeralds, I think? Oh, wow, good, half stack, easy, 
Easy peasy. Boom. And boom. Infinity. Yeah, yeah, we got infinity book. What did you get? Let's see what we get for next. Oh. Gotta trade other stuff. I'm actually kind of wondering... Alright, four emeralds. Ugh, why do I get... Every time I trade the, the guy, I always gotta figure out what's coming next. Four emeralds. For a bookshelf. Not a great deal, but hopefully we get something better later on. Yeah? Give me, like, silk touch or something, bro. Oh. I don't even want the glass. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, no way. Yes. Oh, we got to get this. <gasps> we don't have enough emeralds. Oh, that's the first fo Frostwalker. Okay, we are keeping you. I have never... Get in there. That's not a good spot for you. We need to keep this guy alive. Frostwalker, it's the first time I've seen it. We need it. 26 emeralds is quite a bit. What can I trade? Paper. Paper. I can just give you paper. For one emerald. Yeah, it's not bad. Still, we can get that. Okay, that, that's a later that's a later task. <laughs> Sorry. Kind of got uh, off task. Um, What I'm going to do is I want to work on making a little log pile here. And trying to finish up the project. Um, In the comments, let me know what you think about the color. If you think I should change it or you like it the way it is. Um... Or any suggestions, you know, try it in your own world and then see what it, you know, try to make it look kind of like this and see what you like and let me know. Um, but I'm probably going to try to get me some Frostwalker boots and fill in a little pile here of wood and we'll be right back. Alright guys, I've got enough. I just did a bunch of trading with this guy. I went and grabbed a bunch of zombie flesh from my spawner or my uh, mob grinder or whatever. And uh, did a lot of trading of zombie flesh, got 38 emeralds from that. And I just realized, if we ever needed ender pearls, this that's a good way to get ender pearls for the uh, end uh, that we're going to be fi trying to find soon. Um, and I had a glowstone glowstone for one emerald. It's a pretty good deal, actually. Um, so we need to find a frost walker. You know what I need? Where did I put my paper? I need so I need a book. Um, a leather, and then we should be good to get the Frostwalker boots. Oh, we gotta find the guy, though. I hope he didn't die. Shouldn't have died. It hasn't been nighttime. Uh, here we go. One. Let's see if we can just make a little gray. Yeah. There we go. Frostwalker, here I come. Oh, he's right in there. He's hanging out with the horse. He's like, hey, what's up, horse? How you doing? This must be him, right? Infinity. It was only 26 in a book. Frostwalker 1, baby. Awesome. We're going to have to worry about that next episode. Uh, but yeah, here it is. Here's my pile of logs. I have it kind of scroll going down a little bit. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we're going to extend this just a little bit. So, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Let's go like this. Uh, we need more dirt. I think I had more dirt in here. I had this the way I thought I wanted it, but not really. So extend the dirt. Yeah, like that. Make another layer down here. Sure. And then I'm actually going to extend some of these logs out to make it look a little bit better. So boom, like that. Oh man, I didn't do very good at this. I thought I thought I had it the way I wanted to, but I didn't. I just realized it's going to be a very, very long episode, so you guys might like it. Hope you do. <laughs> uh, pop it out like that. Let's take these out of here. I'm going to fill that in with dirt. Don't tell anyone. So I'll pop it out like that, and then we'll take these... Bring out a couple. That looks a lot better. Yeah, okay, okay. Wait, that does not look good at all. There we go. Alright, yes, that's the way I like it. Okay, so we're going to change this one to this side. Hi, stop doing the wrong one. Um, so yeah, that's what we got going on, guys. Um, we're going to end it here, just because it's, I know it's already been a long episode. Um, thank you guys very much for coming out. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think about this. Um, expect next episode. Hopefully we'll be getting ready to go find the end. 
and maybe use some Frostwalker boots that I've never used before. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget. Wait. If you did, we'll see you next time. Peace. I'm bad at that.